Hi, I'm Dr. Catlin Tucker, and I want to share a small group instructional strategy that I absolutely love called Hook the Group. So Hook the Group inverts the traditional approach to instruction. So instead of the teacher leading with the explanation, the model, they actually start by presenting the group with an unfamiliar problem, task, challenge, or question. So for example, as an English teacher, I remember before an, a small group instructional session focused on how to structure an argumentative paragraph, I actually took an example argument argumentative paragraph, and I cut each of the sentences or section of sentences into a strip. And I put each sentence, and it's, it was in its own little strip, into an envelope and mixed them all up so the sentences were out of order and gave them to pairs in my small group. So I think I actually had eight students in my small group, so I had four different envelopes and two pairs working on each envelope. And so they took out all the little pieces of paper, all the, the sentences on their own little strips of paper. And the goal, what I said was, I want you to put these in the order that you think makes the most the most compelling or strong argument. And so as students were working together, having conversations, well, this sentence is saying this, and this one is a detail, so we're gonna wanna put it here. As they're attempting to kind of solve the hook challenge, right, put these sentences in the correct order, I am just listening and observing and making a lot of mental notes. What are they doing quite well? What are they clearly understanding about the structure of an argument? Where are the gaps? Where are the misconceptions? Um, because this observation, this kind of informal data that I am collecting about this group is going to directly inform how I differentiate the instructional session. So I, after they've had a few minutes to kind of wrestle with it and try to put the sentences in the order they think makes the most compelling argument, then we're going to move into a very quick debrief. What did you guys notice about the sentences? Why did you put them in particular order? Kind of explain and surface that thinking for me. Um, and then we move into the instructional session, which I'm gonna differentiate depending on the group of learners I'm working with, but also based on what I noticed as they were engaged in those conversations and collaborating to try to construct their paragraphs. So I can you know, really kind of tailor the explanation, maybe provide another example, provide an annotated paragraph so they can see some of those supports and scaffolds, depending on what I noticed. And for some sessions, it might be quite short if the group clearly understands how to construct an argumentative paragraph. I don't need to go into as many details or provide as much support. Whereas other groups might need much more explanation. They might need to see examples. They might really benefit from an annotated paragraph calling out what is happening in the argument and why it's structured a particular way. So what I love about Hook the Group is when students get to this point, the instructional point, they're much more interested and curious about the answer because they've kind of sat in this space of productive struggle. A lot of them want to know if they were right about the paragraph. Um, another thing I really love is it does target that four C's of 21st century learning. They have to think critically. They have to kind of creatively problem solve. They are collaborating and communicating and using their peers as resources. So this is a really fun instructional strategy. And why I like to use it in small groups is it's much easier to kind of understand and notice what's going on as they attempt to solve whatever the hook strategy is when you're working with a smaller subset of the larger class. And then obviously that makes it easier to differentiate for those specific students.